just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that... Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time, and Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Young wasting no time right to the air. That's caught by Mingo right side. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's a quick throw to Thielen. So the completion good for just three, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Young. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. This is brought in at the 21. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the season. Tops in the league in touchdown passes at this point. This is definitely a wide open offense, and we'll see if he can keep his string of good games going right here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Up past the 30, second down coming up. The numbers for him from a week ago, a boatload of carries, 110 yards. How about the first month of the season for him? He leads the league in rushing, so you know his confidence is at an all-time high, which means his offensive line loves it too. They'll get more opportunities to run block for him. Second and six. A quick throw there is incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Back to throw here. And he's caught. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now back to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Second and a couple. Now they try the right side here. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
from the 48-yard line. Here's second and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. He'll look to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The first down throw for Young. And his throw is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. But the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Touchdown, Vikings! A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Carolina getting set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now they need two. Here's third down. Throwing, Young. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it will be first and ten as they take over. 
So here are the Vikings to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And running with power here. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Now a play fake here on first down. That is incomplete. But the Vikings sit 3-0 here in the month of September. And they've got to be pleased with the start of this season, obviously. Yeah, and you're talking about three good quality wins. It's got people in the locker room excited. Not overly so, but that quiet confidence is starting to build. They're starting to believe that this could be their year if they stay on track. Third and two. To the right side, and complete to Jefferson. He's to the 15, powering his way forward. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 51 yards. And the Vikings have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Young off the play fake. Off to Thomas on the left side. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Young working out of the gun. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. This now a third and four. Brings up third and four. Looking to throw, Young. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends in what we've seen so far. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. You look at this Carolina defense. This unit against the pass, hoping to get better for sure. Number 25 in the NFL right now. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. But it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Oh, 
It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the... Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the return will stop right around the 25. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half, I mean, that just didn't happen. They'll try and start this drive in the air. His throw incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. They'll set up a throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. And his kick is good. And that'll make this 17 0 here in the opening quarter. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. They find themselves in a good size hole here in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now here's Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. It's Young on first down. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From just shy of midfield, here's second and a yard. Young now. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. The numbers for Thielen in that game last week, seven catches, 78 yards. And you can tell early, they're going to look his way quite a bit, and he made himself available on that one. Seventeen nothing. Our score after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football from the 41. Here's a second and seven, as they've got it. As we resume action, 
Now a second down throw for Young. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Young on third down. And that is incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A nice move gets him a few extra. Down just shy of his 20. Call it a gain of six on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. First down, Vikings. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. The offense on third down, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Another run here with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. So the completion good for seven there, and it brings up third and five now. Here's Young from the shotgun. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Sauce Gardner picks it off. He's to the 15. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, you start to feel sorry now for the young man throwing the football. This is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. All right, this is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, go back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. The extra point splits the uprights, and a route is on here in this first half. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. 
This taken in right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now the Panthers and Miles Sanders headed out for another drive. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Running right, here's Sanders. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a game seven. Brings up second and three. Now a first carry for their fullback. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Young to throw it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And the Vikings are going to get it back here just past the 35. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions? You're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's a second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Back to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. A good pick up there on 20 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's a second and five. Right, 
And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Oh, and this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Back to throw now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Looking to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And the Vikings are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. First and goal, Minnesota. They'll drop to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Trying the power game with Ham, and he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. He tried to break that plane, but couldn't get there, and that's going to leave him now at third and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They'll look to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a freaking touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Vikings are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass, and that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. That throw by Young incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him. To and oh, my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Sauce Gardner picks it off. There he goes, right side. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They're going to look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. 
they kept. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and the route is on here in this first half. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. There was a lot of talk in training camp about him getting off to a hot start this year, saying that they needed that. Well, he's done it through the first month. It kind of reminds me of one of those great musical groups where one person has their name out front, then they have the backups, right? <laughs> he's the guy out front because the backups, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but we're going to the headliner each and every time. And that's not easily done because you know all the defenses are kicking towards him right now. That means he's fighting his way through traffic, finding ways to get open, even when he's not supposed to be. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Young to throw it. Pressure coming from the Vikings and they get there and bring him down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. At the 26-yard line. Final play of the half, Young. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as we say goodbye to September and take a look around the NFL here on this first day of October. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And as they approach halftime, it's the Bears who are out in front. DJ Moore. A touchdown reception. From there, we head east to check on the Bills at home in Buffalo. And right now, they have the lead over the visiting Dolphins. A couple of touchdown strikes there from Justin Fields. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they were winners in that game over the visiting Detroit Lions. Jordan Love leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half, because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll set up to throw. That's going to be caught by Moss. Now he's loose again. 
Touchdown, Vikings! A big play there. 77 yards. And the Vikings extend their lead yet again. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And this taken in at the goal line. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. On first and 10, Young. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Now here's Young. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Oh, the return is Osborne. The Vikings head out to take over once again. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material? Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, with the size of lead that this offense has, I don't think that interception is really going to affect them much. But at least for this defense, something small to hang their hat on. Yeah, and let's face it, they're not even scoreboard watching anymore, right? They're just trying their best to make a play, get themselves off the field, which they just did, and salvage a little bit of pride in this one. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. 
This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. But the last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound, and the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. Second and six. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one too low. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now here's Ryan right now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And my goodness, another interception. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. What did you see there, Charles, on that interception from the rookie? They've shown him certain looks on defense throughout the first half, and they pulled the string here in the second half because he got used to those looks, and they showed the exact same thing, but changed it up just a little bit where he thought something was open, and now with the change in defense, it no longer was. Jefferson moving in motion left. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Vikings have widened the gap now to 50 points. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Taking it about the one. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Well, it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. It's Young off play action. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Young on third down. That is caught, and he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 28 yard line. Young on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Just what they need electric from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Brings up third and 16. Young working out of the gun. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. Five yards, now it's third and five. five-yard pickup on the play, and it's third down. He'll drop to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one goes for 36 yards. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Moss. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. From the 21, here's second and five. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Third and five. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate and drops it. I got to think, at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, 
This is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Another run with Sanders. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. It's a second down run with Sanders. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. That was a good run and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level. The Vikings after him and they get there for the sack. Micah Parsons able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Here's Johnny Hacker now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. The throw over the middle, taken in. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Third down and one. And it's third down. He'll look to throw. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. A second down throw for Young. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. To the air once more, Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and three from the nine. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Vikings pick up the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. 
Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 69 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. On second down, they'll run it here. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. Parker, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw here. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. There they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll look to throw here on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. Second and two at the Panthers 21 yard line. They're gonna look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Following the interception, Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 14-yard line. Here is Young. And now here is another interception. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles. But that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because 
Your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Young looks to throw on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. 10 yards. First down. Young. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 15-yard line. Young will set to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 36. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game of this margin. I mean, this has just been total domination from start until now, and I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas at this point. Do you think that on the sideline, some jokester said to one of his teammates, maybe a few of them, hey, we're up 50. Why not go for 100? You think maybe that line was uttered on the sideline? I can't believe what we're seeing here. An NFL game this lopsided. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll set up a throw. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 23. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, 
You just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. 104 yards rushing now for the ball game on 24 carries. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display. And now they look to polish it off. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Looking to throw. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. You can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. <laughs> because when you get to four, if you get to 4-0, you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this team has the capabilities of winning a Super Bowl. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Young. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Meanwhile, Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And a nice gain of 21 yards. It's Young on first down. And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Now here's Young. One last shot at the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense 